pairs of simultaneous linear equations. Then? Linear. Okay, so we're dealing with linear. I, your success will be to identify situations calling for linear equations. Write systems of linear equations related to inequalities. So when one situation might be, for example, the cell phone companies we work with, one cell phone company might be cheaper or more expensive than the other. And then use graphs to estimate the solutions for linear equations. So I want to ask you about security systems. Purpose, why, why would a company or a home have a security system? Sandra. Okay, so for what would you say? Okay, so to protect their items. Why else would a home or a company have a security system? Carlos? Okay, so they, they, you're talking about possibly having a video type surveillance. Sam? Um, to protect like themselves from like uh, anything that will harm them from like other people to fires and carbon monoxide. Okay. Any other reason, Ellie? Like, you know, companies prevent their workers from mistake and stuff. Oh, internal theft. That's smart. Yeah, that's a good idea too. Okay, so... We want to know, so we're going to be dealing with two security companies today, and there's a few questions that I would like you to ponder before we look at the cost of these security companies. So in your book, The Getting Ready for Lesson 2.1, if you can't see the smart board, it's on page 24, The Getting Ready, what kinds of equations will show how the costs for two companies are a function of the number of days? So it's asking for the type, the equation type. What patterns do you expect to see in graphs of the equations? And how can you use a graph to answer questions about the company and which has the best price? So let me give you guys five minutes. If you could talk to each other and just take a few notes about your discussion for the getting ready, right in, in your notebook. Do you guys over around to find the slopes of both of them? And then you're also saying you could use the slope to figure out after how many days they're going to be the same as for A1, and then you could find at how many days they're going to be the same. Can we use the graph? Using like the X and the Y axis, and then looking at like the lines of the graph, where it's and like if they're quadrilateral or linear. Okay, and did you guys determine what you think the equation type might be for this situation? Why do you say that? Because it's going to go ahead and study rate. Alright, I let the time go a little bit longer. So, what kind of equation will show how the cost of these two companies um, are a function of number of dates? I'm going to do a quick poll. <laughs> All right, and wow, everybody agrees we have a linear situation. So here is our two companies we're comparing. Now, the other two questions, the third one I think is important. If we're going to look at two graphs comparing these two companies, super lock and fail safe, on the same coordinate grid, what, what, how can we use that to answer questions? Right, and we're just specifically going to use the graph. So don't worry about this for now. What did you think was um, for the first question? For what number of days will the cost of the two companies be the same? Okay, and how did you know it's two fifty? Yeah. Number two is the one for how many days? Hmm? Cost less than fifty. Mm -hmm. For the number of days, yeah. the cost less. Okay. You have to find where they are, and then. See how the blue line goes good. Up. Yeah. 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 above the considering we can't really see that. That's those are the days that it's oh, that, that it's less than fail safe. So you just calculate, you just look at the, look at the graph and say 
Oh, and about what day is that that they separate? And if this one goes up, and this one stays in the states, and it's going to go Because for four genes, you can use these formulas here. Because you said just use the left. Oh, my God. It's fancy. Yeah, I know. I did it about a year. Because that's about 365. Because that's 350. Just a little bit over his bucket is right. And I said that's about seven thousand five hundred dollars. That's the closest I think you can have this hit. So is there one more equation? Yeah. No, otherwise we have to solve it with the equation. Well, whoever has by each day. It's it's it goes up for X amount of days after the mid after after it costs the same. So couldn't you just say it goes up um, X amount of days after and it never it never goes back all the way up past um, what um, Superlax does? Yeah, but she's only right. saying that what's right. shown yeah, so on the Right, so you're saying that this will just continue on. Yeah, and then this one will too. Yeah, so this one will continue on. Yeah, but she's saying that what's on the No, they would not intersect again. So wouldn't you just... Yeah, but you're saying what's shown on the graph not up to like when it expands It doesn't more. say what is shown. Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> you're telling me that this is going to continue on uh, for forever? Yes. This one will continue on for forever. Both so what does the question ask? It says use the graph. What does the question ask? Point three, so it's not This is what it is. It said close to 250. It's 249, 47, whatever it's a figure. So it said 249. You put 249? Yeah. It's not that much. <laughs> it's right here. Look, I put them at the approximately. Uh, okay. Do do you, if you were searching for a company, would you want the graphic representations, or would you want the graph? Someone to yes, give you an exact we'll calculation. Please, like fifty cents for a difference after. When they both equal 250 days. Yeah, it's about 250. But then when, but when, yeah, but when entering it into the equation like they want us to, how would we, how would we kind of get that to so they would get a, uh, equal the same thing? Because the symbolic method is putting the exact. That could be a whole number. Why well, not? Because that's it's a decimal. Yeah, but you're doing the symbolic method right away. We have to do it away so that they both, uh, see, so look, read the problem. Okay, let's talk about A. I did notice that some of you moved on. Sorry, Pedro, are you guys done there? No. <laughs> no? Okay, Pedro, can we talk about a few of the problems and then maybe go back to that? Would that be all right? No. Okay, so the first question is what? Now remember, we were using the graph to find out the answers, okay? Some of you are, are thinking ahead and beyond the graph using other strategies. And we're going to talk about when is it okay to have a graph representation or when what questions can be answered by a graph versus the equation versus a table. Okay? So for what number of days will the cost of the two companies be the same? Okay, about 20 seconds. We just need a few more answers. <laughs> okay, we have a large number of you believe it's 250 days, and then we have a couple of different, so this response obviously is the same here, they just included the word day. We have about 250, can someone who put about 250, because two of you did that, explain why you use the word about? Why not just exactly 250? Brianna, thank you. Because it's like approximately 250. Like when you just look at it, it's like about 250. But like when you do the equation, it's not exactly 250. It's near that. So if we were to just stick with the graph, you would prefer to use the word about mm -hmm. 250 because that's what we're trying to identify on the graph. And a couple of you had 249. Can someone talk about that? Sabrina, thank you. So you went beyond the graph, and why did you choose to go? Why did you choose to go beyond the graph and not just stick to the graph? Well, what was your thinking there? Like 
starting point it's so high for the installation um it, and then once they meet it's 251 after they meet and then plus because like everybody else said a couple times that they never going to intersect again so that after they meet it's lower and it's just going to keep being lower and lower and lower let's look at the graph so what was the question again Somebody repeat the question. Pedro, thanks. For what numbers of days will Superlux cost less than $6,000? And which one of these lines is Superlux? The right one. Okay, so we're looking at where do we believe it is at $6,000? Where do we think that red line comes? About 350 The green dot's 350 we, we just talked about that. So where do we think approximately that red line is falling? Tyler? Maybe 340. So again, we had some that less than 350. I think if we're estimating, that would be okay. 337, is that less than 350? Yeah. What about 300? Is that an okay estimate? Mm-mm. Who said mm, mm Brianna, why not? Because it's off by, like, too much. It's off. So we want to be closer mm -hmm. in our estimation. Okay. So some of you already explored B and C. I would like you to do an exit slip. I'm going to pass that out. And you're actually going to, if you did the work in your notebook, if you could transfer that just so that I can see how your thinking went for the lesson. I can't believe you're doing this in the middle of the week, you have to round it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.